Heap Manager Implementation, Advice and Conceptual Ideas. As we know, we use the doubly linked list implementation to do the heap manager. We have a header and a footer, each of size unit, one unit, and a payload. So when we think about the conceptual ideas is that if you're given a list, in this case, I'm demonstrating that these chunks are used, one in blue, and the other ones are free. Now, free chunks are linked together, both forward direction and also the backward direction. So in order to malloc 44, you figure out how many units are needed. You make it a multiple of 16, divide by 16, and add two more units to get five units. We have to find an appropriate chunk of size 5. In this case, we could find this. All we have to do is remove this chunk B from the free list. This means that you have to set the pointer here to this one and point pointer here going back to that one. You have to consider special cases such as the list has only one node, etc. In the second case, suppose we want to add four units uh, to the uh, memory. So we find the appropriate chunk. We can only find a seven. We find the first seven. We split that into two things. Add the first half to the memory and the free uh, chunk, the three, to the beginning of the free list. So always make sure that this is added to the beginning. If you're removing something, find the chunk that you want to remove. That can be done in big O of one. Uh, free the chunk and check to see if the chunk F2 adjacent to that is also free. You can go both forward and backward to see the adjacent chunks in memory. And if they are free, you can coalesce them and create a chunk of size 7 added to the beginning of the list. In the case of looking for 8 units, we're not able to find 8 units, so we allocate um, size 512 units, yes, from the operating system using the break command, and then we split it into 8 and 504. This is in memory. Uh, give it to the allocated block. This is going to be now free, added to the beginning of the list. So implementing checker 1, the keys to success are the following. You have to compose a reasonable checker 1c implementation. In other words, a reasonable checker one is valid function. What you can do is you can use the checker base.c as a guide. If you keep in mind the difference between checker base one, checker base, and checker one, is that we in checker one we use a doubly linked list and we also know, don't keep the list in any kind of order. So one of the ways you can start is to copy the checker base.c as checker1.c and start changing to make the testing. Now, before moving on to the heap manager implementation, you have to be sure to catch as many meaningful errors in the heap manager bad implementation. So how do we do that? Uh, in other words, if you look at the, uh, if you go to Salon and read, I have highlighted some of the important things that you need to do. The main thing here is that um, when you compose checker one, test your checker one implementation with all the heap manager bad implementation, bad A, bad B, and so on. When you do that, you should get a very different uh, error message because each of these bad implementations has something bad. For example, you may find that um, heap start and heap end may not have null values. Or you may find that the previous chunk in memory is in use. You want to check that there are no two chunks that are next to each other that are free. Count the number of free chunks in two ways. You want to make sure that uh, you have the proper number of free chunks. You can do that by as you traverse the memory or as you traverse the free list. You can check that. So most errors are in the doubly linked list manipulation. So proper checker one implementation will allow you to detect these before moving on to the heap manager. So checker one implementation, you must study 
extensively the checker one chart.c, which gives you a number of functions for you to manipulate list. Implementing heap manager unsuccessfully, keys to success are the function modularity, user reasonable function modularity, what actions, identify the verbs you take in the malloc, finding a proper chunk or removing a proper phrase, what actions you take when you create a chunk, add it to the free list, and so on. External testing use the given test heap manager climb systematically, run simple tests with small allocation counts and small chunk sizes, run complex tests with large allocation counts and large chunk sizes. If heap manager one is working, then do experiments to determine the simplest input to heat manager C that causes the heat manager one to fail. Heat manager one implementation may fail if it doesn't consume exactly the same amount of memory as the given heat manager one good implementation. You can use GDB on simple inputs, it can be helpful, but it's unlikely that GDB can be helpful on large and complex inputs. So the keys to success in part one is to implement a good checker one. Checker one should catch as many errors as possible using, as we discuss, these tests. Once you get through that, it, we talked about that here, this advice is very, very important. Once you do the checker one properly, then you can move on to heat manager one implementation.